All right, so to do a decent job of this, you're gonna need some tiny screwdrivers, needle nose pliers may or may not need them. And this is just a magnet to pick out the screws because the screws won't come out. It comes out easier with a magnet. They won't come out very easily. So um, let's get started on this. Oh, and you're gonna need a Stanley blade as well, or a very thin blade. All right, so anything you wanna change on this phone at the front, you have to go in the back. You cannot ply this off um, like I did. I've now broken it so it won't clip back in. So don't try and do that. Um, I've also broken the actual bezel. I don't know if you can see it there. There's a break there and one down further down in there because I tried to pry this front off to begin, which was a mistake. So to start in the back, yours is gonna be more tight than this. Mine is loose because I've already done this before and pried the glue off. You just wanna slide your knife in there best you can and just work it in and then start lifting it out it's, again this is going to be harder work for yourself because yours are going to have glue going right around the rim no pun intended so you just want to pry it off be patient because you don't want to break it mine comes right off nice and easily there's a little bit of glue left you can see that thin bit of black glue that's what's going right around the the edges and once you've got it off you'll see there are a few clips here at the top, there's four at the top. Doubt it's in focus, but I think you get it. And then there's another six at the bottom. You've got two on, the, on each corner, and you've got two in the middle there that go around the charging port. And that's it. You can see there the, the Blackberry uh, logo is all one plate at the back. I'm assuming the NFC is in this section here, I don't know. It's all tacky, this is, it's all sticky. But there you go, that's the case. It's pretty flexible, so you should be okay. You, you know, don't worry if it bends when you're pulling it off. It'll flex back into shape. So there you go, that's the back. All right, so the inside of the phone is as you see it there. Main big part obviously being the battery, the camera up there, and so forth. This blue wire, mine is broke so it's sticking up. I actually snapped off the connector <laughs> accidentally. So be very careful when you lift these out. Um, it's not the next job to do, but we will be doing that soon. First thing you're gonna wanna do is pull out all the screws. I think there's 16 of them. They're all the same size, except for this one and this one, this bit smaller. They're all Phillips head, but I, to be honest, I couldn't get my, any, any of my Phillips heads to fit them. So I ended up using a flat head. I managing to get it in with a bit of pressure, turning it, and they all came loose pretty easily. So let's take those out. So you can see here, I'm using a flat head screwdriver. And just, you gotta find the right size and it'll fit in there and then it'll turn and out it comes and like I said I got the magnet here just to just to get them out there and not lose them first section to take out is the bottom section so I tend to start down here first to loosen all the screws up Get them all out. So that's all of those. Just the one left now that is smaller than the rest. I do use a small Phillips head for this. I'll tell you what size as well. On according to my box, this is a double zero. Whatever that means. I, I, I'm not a, a DIY expert, <laughs> but it says double zero. So there you go, that's the last screw. It's the smallest one. All right, so now with this bottom plate unscrewed, we can actually lift this out. I'm not sure what it is. I'm thinking it's the microphone and possibly the speaker. You can see there, I don't know if it's focusing, hopefully it will. It's got some connectors on it and there's a bit of weight to it. I'm pretty sure it's the speaker and microphone. So that's that section there. I'll show you the components better later on in the video. We're just going to tear this down for the for the moment. So you can see the charging port there, which apparently can't be changed. I'm not sure myself. I don't know anything about electronics. So I'm going to continue to take the, the rest of these screws out. Let's get this other small one out first. Okay. I'm going to loosen up all the rest now. See, what happened to my phone was I, I dropped it one too many times and obliterated the screen so I um, ordered a new screen off eBay it's about 60 
bucks. I managed to change it in the end, but I'm thinking it's not working because I broke that little blue wire there. Not so much the wire, but the thing it's connected to on the motherboard. I actually didn't realize it was being a real rough. So I took it off a few times trying to get it back together and I had to take it back off. So I think I might have just pulled it off basically when I pulled the wire off. So you gotta be careful with those wires. So the phone is kaput. So I ordered a new one because I do like these phones. Very good phones. All right then, so that is all the screws. There are no more screws that I can see. Right. So now you're going to want to pop these wires off. As you can see, my blue one's already broken, as I said, but the white one's okay if I pull that out of the way. See the white one's clipped on there, so you just want to gently pry it up, and it comes off, pops off its connector. See that connector in there. I don't know if you can see it. That connector in there, there was one up here, but now it is stuck permanently in my blue wire connector so I, I'm not really good at soldering so I'm not gonna even try and put that back together I may give it a go actually but um I needed a phone quick so I ordered a new one so once you pop these two wires off you can see they run down the channel there but now you've unscrewed all of this the whole thing can come up all right so we're gonna pull these out they just come out of the slots very easily just give them a little tug and then this whole section will lift out let's be a little bit careful let's pop it out and the camera bit it all comes off with it we just careful 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 we need a bit of um gentle persuasion with that over the top here where the camera is it's also slots down there to I think it clicks into the top there, so it will pop out. Now oh, there you go. So this is just the, the cover for the camera section there, and the flash section. There is some prongs there, so I'm thinking this might be the NFC section of the phone. Not entirely sure but that's what it looks like you can see that again I'll put pictures at the end so now we are down to the motherboard and just the battery left so the battery has a connector right there this comes off here this is stuck down so you just peel that up and then you have the connector there which you can just pop off you can use your hands when trying to do it so you can see so just un unclips battery stuck down so this will also need some persuasion but mine is all obviously I've already taken mine out once or twice so it will come out a lot easier than yours will just keep applying pressure if you stick the knife underneath it just slowly apply pressure you'll be able to hear it like that you'll be able to hear it unsealing still quite difficult even though I've done it a few times slowly don't want to bend the battery so you bring it out there you go that's the battery out and now you just have the the chassis and the motherboard so let's remove the motherboard there's no more screws to take out you just got to undo all these clips these down here are the keyboard I think this one's the keyboard. Let's pop him up. Maybe be wrong. Let's say just pop out, pop upwards on this one. And this one here is for the the screen. So you pop that up, and that one goes through. You can see there it goes through down to the screen. This one comes down here. So I'm not sure. It may be the sound to do the um, charging the power module maybe this one's the keyboard yeah I think this one's the keyboard anyway so with them up we can now remove the motherboard oh there's one more up here as well I'm sorry this is for the volume buttons and the um, power button and all that so you pop that up same thing and then you can remove the board if you just gently bring it up oh one thing you've got to remove first 
I almost forgot is the sim tray because that will hold it down that will hold it in so we need to pop this out there you go almost forgot that and then this will just pop out and there it is that's the motherboard the processor and all that other good stuff on there got the camera up here this is the front camera I think yes it is and there's the two rear cameras there now we're right down to the chassis now so so in order to get the front keyboard off now that it's all unscrewed at the back you can now start popping the front off but be very careful and very slow so you don't want to break it like I did just want to unclip it there's some little clips in there just pop them all up once you pop face it up don't pull it up too much again like I said like I did I broke mine just want to get this black thing in there I don't know if you can see it the actual keyboard itself I want to try and get in there and lever that out or if you're American lever it out not the easiest thing in the world all right so now it's coming out there you go because mine's a bit broken well, hopefully if you do it with some care yours won't be <laughs> try and pop this out some of the glue is reset when since i put it back you can see a line of glue there and that's the that's that that's it empty this is the the keyboard itself the spacebar comes off with the keyboard I couldn't tell you if you could remove the spacebar separately although I think you might be able to I don't know it doesn't look like it um, there's the lead or the cable that comes through it goes through that slot there and clips onto the motherboard and if you remember we pulled that out for earlier the grey or maybe yours is black depending on what color, what color version you had but this fascia here doesn't come off the plastic I thought it did that's why mine's broken you can see there it's completely snapped so you don't want to be trying to pull that off all right so now we are down to the chassis it has the screen still in it and that is it it has this little power module down the bottom or whatever it is uh, and that's it the rest is just this um, I want to call it plastic but I'm pretty sure it's not just plastic it's some kind of I can't remember what they called it. I can't remember what they called it but um okay in order to get the screen off the screen's got a lot of glue behind it you can't get to it under here and pry it up because it will break the screen it will crack it all I mean if the screen's knackered it doesn't really matter anyway so you can start doing that but the only way to push it out is through this section here if so you can push on that mine will come away easily as you can see the screen's coming out there but yours won't I won't take it all off but that's how you do it just keep keep applying pressure yours will probably break as you're doing it mine did when I was pushing mine out but then my screen was already broken anyway and if you're doing a screen replace you don't care anyway so just keep pushing that eventually it'll kind of come away and then you just have to clear it all up all the broken grits of glass and put your new screen on which is this one here so that is it that is the foam stripped down as much as it can pretty much you're not taking all these little tiny little pieces out one thing you know you notice is you the up the volume up button doesn't click when you press it until you put all the parts back back in together so it's putting pressure at the back of this switch there and like I said just be very careful with these these thin wires as you take them apart because uh, you can see there mine's broken the, the little bit that's connected to is still stuck inside it so I may try and solve that one day we'll see I don't think there's anything else to add so I'll leave it there for now I'm going to put the images up on the screen.